This video is designed to help you fill in Section D of your 2016 Annual Information Statement. That's AIS for short. Your answers will appear on the public ACNC register unless you've applied for and we've approved specific details to be withheld. So it's important to get them right. All the details you'll see entered in this video are based on a fictitious organisation named Theolo Charity. They don't belong to an actual charity. Now let's begin. Section D, Finance, is about your charity's finances. Completing this section is optional for basic religious charities and non-government schools. The questions in this section will vary slightly depending on whether your charity is small, medium or large. The example in this video is for a small charity, that is, one with an annual revenue of less than $250,000. For small charities, the first question in this section asks whether your charity has used cash or accrual accounting. Cash accounting records the instances when money has changed hands, either when it is physically received or paid out. Accrual accounting records all transactions when income is earned or expenses are incurred, even if the payments haven't physically been made or received yet. Select cash or accrual. Now you will need to fill out the Summary Income Statement and Balance Sheet Extract. Enter amounts for all the items that make up the total using Australian dollars. Round up or down to the nearest dollar and do not include cents. If the value is zero dollars, enter zero. Include zeros to show thousands. If you have prepared a financial statement, check that the totals match the amounts you enter. For guidance on each of the line items, Read the 2016 Annual Information Statement Guide, or you can click on the Help button next to each line. At question 16, you can upload your financial report. Choose your file from your computer, then click Attach. This is optional for small charities. If the financial report you are uploading is not for the period 1 July 2015 to 30 June 2016, indicate the date range that your financial report covers here. If your charity prepares a financial report to provide to a state or territory regulator, because it is an incorporated association, a cooperative or a charitable fundraising organisation, you can provide a copy of this financial report to the ACNC. You will need to indicate this at question 16a and then select the states and territories where you submitted the report in question 16b. You will then need to indicate the type of organisation your charity is at question 16c. And this brings us to the end of section D for small charities. Before you move on to the next page, we recommend that you click the Save button. To move on to the next section, click the Next Page button here. For assistance with the other parts of the AIS, you can view the other videos in this series. As always, if you have any questions or need any specific assistance with the AIS, you can call us on 132262 or email us at advice at acnc.gov.au. I hope this has been useful and thanks for watching.